Are you diagnosing a slow or no crank condition on a starter circuit? Have you checked or voltage supply in grounds? And by that, I mean have you performed a voltage drop check on the entire circuit? Hi, I'm Clint with Automate Training. In our latest module, I'll show you how to correctly test both supply and ground circuits before replacing a starter motor. Here's a small preview of what you'll learn. When faced with an engine starting concern of a slow or hard crank, it's important to follow standardised troubleshooting procedures to isolate the ultimate cause of the problem. First, we need to verify that the slow crank is not caused by the battery. A load and performance test will decide this. With the growing number of electrical systems on today's vehicles, the battery is always the first component you should verify as working as designed. Second, we need to verify that the concern is not caused by an engine mechanical issue. Disable the vehicle's ignition system and attempt to turn the engine over by hand using appropriate tooling. If the engine rotates as designed, then we can move on. Our third check is to verify that the start command from the key or button is available at the starter solenoid. To find out more, and access the most advanced technical training available, visit our website and unlock your automotive potential today.